You're watching us. They're watching They're us. Watch there. Ba ba stop watching. Oh, don't stop watching. No, Stick don't do that. Uh, Bossware is surveillance tech used by some bosses to keep tabs on their employees working remotely. Now, could your boss be spying on you? And what are your rights if they are? Employment solicitor Richard Grogan joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Richard. Now, I've never heard of Bossware because I'm a total, a total techno nerd and I, I just don't get it at all. So what is Bossware? Bossware is just one of these products that, that is out there. Now, it's, it's seen as something that's fantastic. Your employers go, oh, we must buy this. Oh, they love it, yeah. yeah. They yeah, love we, it. Yeah, we must buy this so that we can check up on people. But actually, it's, all, it's on your computer as it is. So your computer, if you take your mobile phone, yeah. your mobile phone every week is going to tell you what your average time on, online was. All screen time yeah. and all that. Yes, yeah. all of that. So you buy a computer now, embedded in that computer is a load of, of information that's going to cover things like how many times does, is, the, is there a click on the, on the keyboard? Okay. What time does it get turned on? What time does it get turned off? When is it? How, how often is there nothing happening? How often is the mouse clicked? All of this is 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 there. You don't actually need to go out and buy Bossware. All you need to do is it's already on the system. All you need to do is go in and check it. That's so, the means to check it. Yeah. yeah. So it, does that mean your boss could ring you up and go, "Just been checking your algorithms. There it doesn't seem like you've been doing anything on your computer all afternoon." Yeah. Well, now that sounds great if you're an employer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until the employee comes down to a solicitor like me. And we then go, Do, did you get a policy? Is this uh, legal? And uh, what, what are the terms and conditions of your employment? That well, then well there, was a re there, was, there was a recent Court of Appeal decision and it dealt with a thing where they had signs of uh, CCTV for security purposes. Yeah. And they were checking out a particular thing about graffiti. But they saw that one person was taking too long for their breaks and they put them through a disciplinary. And the Court of Appeal said, well, that was legal. You were using it for an illegal purpose Therefore, you couldn't use it because you hadn't told people. So if you're going to be having any form of spyware, you have oh. to tell them. So you can't be hiding in the long grass. That's the whole, whole idea of spyware is that people don't know you're spying so you on them. You have to tell your employees that okay. bossware is on the computer that you have at home. Uh, you have to tell them not only what's there, what you're using it for, their right to get a copy of it. Right. Okay. And exactly what it's going to be used for and why it's going to be used. Now, by the way, some of it is very legitimate because if I'm an employer and I, and I am and I have somebody working from home, I need to know that they're taking their breaks at the right time because I've... A, okay, yeah. so, so I could be saying, look, I need to be able to check up. So I might only be checking if somebody taking their breaks at the right time and I could be phoning somebody and saying, uh, by the way, you haven't taken your breaks. Yeah, but you, that is... I mean, OK, that, that is one legitimate use of, yeah. of the, the software or, the, or a system like that. But there aren't an awful lot of those instances where that needs to be the case. Is it not down to more an issue with trust that if you're working for someone or you're employing someone that you don't... They don't trust you and you don't trust them? And is that not just a toxic relation, work relationship to be in? The, the difficulty when, you're, when we're apply, uh, advising an employer is we say, you have to have the policy. Mm, yeah. And then we say, by the way, once you roll this policy out, you're telling everybody that you don't, you don't trust them. Yeah. Now, generally speaking, the employer is going, I've got 20 employees, 19 of them are fine. There's one that I have a problem with. Okay. So you can't run out the policy for that one. So what you have to do is, if you're going to be doing it, very often it is being done, and good employers are actually doing it for making sure, because, particularly when people are working from home, some employers will say, actually, what we are checking is health and safety because we know you're working at home, we know you're alone, we actually still have a duty of care, so we're actually more concerned... Right, to make sure you're all right and you're healthy. Sure right. yeah. yeah. so, so it is legal once they tell you what they're doing and what they're doing, but then what are, your, what are the rights of an employee at home? What are their rights? Well, well, what can you say to your boss? Well, can you actually say, I don't want that on my software? Uh, well... That you can, yes, if anything that they're doing is illegal. So, if, in other words, but it's not illegal, but they're still, you still feel like you're being watched, and that can't be a good thing. Well, if, if the, the alternative some employers say is, well, you can be back in the office you and I come out again. of the door and I can, I can see, see you. See, I can see you. So, there, there are some things that the employee can legitimately say, like, I don't want a system whereby the camera can be turned on automatically. Well, this on is me. what I was going mm. to say. Is there, are there, is there, because people, some people have this notion of uh, uh, unplug the camera or uh, put a, put a, 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 a masking tape over, over it, yeah. the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are there some, because 
You were talking about clicks or monitoring your clicks or monitoring your, your mouse movements and that kind of thing. Uh, are there systems in place as well where, where the, the employer can turn around and say, actually, yeah, every 15 minutes we want to just switch, plug in, and we want to have a look at you supping on your coffee and eating your croissant when you're supposed to be typing your yeah, presentation? Well, there, an employer, if an employer says, look, actually, you know, look, we want to check in with you regularly, yeah, that's fine. Some employers will say, you, when you phone and you do Zoom now, you have people have different backgrounds behind mm. them. Oh, yeah. So the employer will say, we don't want to see that background. We want to see the, this background. Where you are, right. yeah. Oh, so, yeah, we want to see that you're in the office in case you're that you're supposed to be in. Yeah. Yeah. That you're, that you're, yeah, that At you're, home. That you're not in Spain. Yeah, yeah. over Tenerife for the yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. So, so there, 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 is, there is that. It can be done legitimately. The issue on it is, and the real problem is, nobody's put any guides in place. Right. And particularly for an awful lot of employees. We don't have guides, we don't have codes of conduct. So we, we came out in June 2021, we're all going to be working from home. Okay, These yeah. are the issues that are coming up, but you don't get the department saying, well, we better actually think of putting in policies and procedures so that the SME sector know what they can do, what the employees can do. And this is one of the problems with the working from home thing. And yeah. aside from the, what you mentioned with the, the security cameras and the CCTV, has this spyware specifically been tested in court yet? Or is there any uh, challenges uh, to it? Most empl Irish employers, to be honest with you, aren't going off buying this type right. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the computers that they have you have enough information. Why would you buy for something? Yeah. 